This new video released today gives the clearest picture yet of the stricken Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. What we're seeing is that uh, the damage from the fires is very significant. Today, Japanese military helicopters with protective lead line cockpits dumped water on Reactor 3, attempting to cool the nuclear fuel rods, but much of the water appeared to disperse in the wind. Police and firefighters also brought in water cannons to douse the reactor, but had to pull back after less than an hour when radiation levels became too high. Reactors 2 and 3 have breaches in the containment vessels surrounding their molten nuclear cores. However, concern today focused on the spent fuel rods at Unit 3, which, unless covered in water, could catch fire and spew radiation. Officials now say the rods are almost completely exposed and are made up of a particularly harmful combination of uranium and plutonium called MOX. It is very toxic. If you inhale plutonium or ingest it, uh, it goes down into the body and it is the most powerful emitter of radioactivity inside the body. There are similar fears about the spent fuel rods at Reactor 4. Today, the White House tried to downplay an apparent dispute with its Japanese counterpart about how close the situation is to catastrophe. President Obama has uh, it, great faith in the idea that the Japanese are fully aware of the severity of the crisis. But it's clear that so much is riding on the workers who remain at the plant. Now more than 300, it's believed they can only work in shifts of minutes at a time because of the high levels of radiation. They wear cumbersome, protective gear and must rely on flashlights in a hot, almost pitch black plant. One former Fukushima worker who wished to remain anonymous told Japanese television he's gravely concerned for those he was forced to leave behind. I'm still in fear far from the plant after evacuation, he says, but thinking about the staff who is still in and around the plant now, they should be in tremendous fear, I assume. Japan's prime minister told the workers, many of whom volunteered to stay, that retreat is unthinkable, leaving their families to wait and worry. One woman tweeted, Dad went to power plant to work while on evacuation. Never seen my mom cry that much. Please come back alive. Japanese authorities now tell international nuclear watchdogs that they have been successful at putting in a new power line up to, nu up to uh, reactor number two. The hope is that they'll be able to restart those pumps and get cold water doused on those hot fuel rods. Katie? Bill Whitaker in Tokyo tonight.